Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechGuru. In today's video, I'll try to show you how you can actually uh, stop the rebooting problem in the MI Linux device or POCO F3 or maybe Redmi K40 device as well. And this is an issue which is going on with the recent update in the MI Linux and the POCO F3 units most of the time. The device gets restart automatically every day. So a lot of users did comment under my video and I did make a video as well yesterday how to fix it and I did mention that uh, the only way to fix is a factory reset. But few of the subscribers did also comment under the video that instead of doing the factory reset there are a couple of other uh, steps you can actually follow them and you can make it work in the ML Linux and the POCO F3 and in this video I'm going to describe exactly what are those steps and how you can actually make it work and this issue is not happening with everyone it's happening with few of the users only as you can see friends, that is a this is the comments which I did get for the video it's been very fair it's happening often and uh, rebooting as you can see friends so right now i'll try to explain you what are the comments i did get from my uh, subscribers and from my viewers and thank you for all all the comments and all the feedback as well what i got and these are the comments which i got first is to to turn off the memory extension and the auto brightness as you can see these are the comments most most of the comments were about this one so try to turn off the memory extension if you don't know where you can find the memory extension it will be available in the additional settings option so try to click the settings and go to additional settings and then turn, turn off the memory extension and after that and uh, turn off the auto brightness as well yes turn off the auto brightness these are the two things are actually triggering that kind of uh, reboot options there must be some kind of a problem with the update that is what i'm expecting maybe with the next update it will definitely get fixed but till then this is the temporary solution which we are having right now and not only one user even other user also commented the same thing and he did report to the mi let me to exactly mention so he did report to the mi services and uh, mi replied asking him to turn off the auto brightness and reboot your phone and it will be fixed as you can see in another case so even you can turn off the auto brightness and try to reboot and just check and don't worry about the memory extension if you want but this are the couple of comments i'm trying to show you what is actually happening in the mr linux device and what are the ways you can actually fix it and next comment which i got uh, from this person and which says no need to factory reset of course yes and if you don't want to factory reset there are other things turn off the memory extension and turn off auto brightness and use only the default themes as you can see friends try to use the default themes and uh, try to do and these are the comments which i got on this mr linux device how to fix it without you doing the factory reset option yes doing the factory reset it's kind of really painful because you do have a lot of data and a lot of images which no one wants to delete for this kind of small uh, bug but still if you if you want to avoid the factory reset try to follow these methods and definitely your problem will get fixed and which has been recommended by most of my viewers as well as you can see exactly these are the comments try to restart the device so it will work fine for one day or two day and again it will happen so these are the few comments which i got on the ml linux device and the poco f3 gt as well so poco f3 is not the gt sorry so these two models in case if you face try to use this kind of tricks and make it work and let me know in the comment section below in case this kind of tricks are working for you or not if it's not working we can find out some other uh, tricks as well so let's wait friends maybe with the next update they might fix this kind of issues hopefully and that's it for this video thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video and don't forget to follow the playlist for the mi linux device in case if you have the mi linux or the poco f3 try to follow the playlist for the mi linux device that will be really helpful for you to know what is happening with the device see you in the next video friends until then bye